Welcome back to Take Apart. We will tear down two identical yet different UV 5Rs. This one on the left is non-airbend version and one on the right side can receive airbend frequencies. Let me turn them on and show you what they can do. So Baofeng UV 5R airbend version can listen to AM airbend frequencies anywhere from 108 to 136 MHz. Radio will accept frequencies and also can listen with no issues to any airband frequencies. This is new 2024 UV5R from Baofeng. On the other hand, the same UV5R 8 watt version cannot accept airband frequencies. It just jumps to last use frequency. So let's see what is different internally and if there is by any chance unlock or hack for non-airband radios to receive airband. Oh, I have done the same to these two UV5 RH radios from Baofeng. So if you wondering if you can hack unlock those, here is the video. And now let's begin with teardown of these two suckers. But first. If you want to buy this UV5R airband radio or any other radios, you have to get it from best shop on AliExpress. Bufeng Speciality Radio Store is the one. They have best customer support and even provide it for you at 4 bucks discount code. Take apart. Use it at checkout. I will not bother you with full teardown as I'll be releasing teardown videos very soon. So, unscrew antenna, SMA connector nut, you can use volume slash power knob as tool. Yes, engineers at Baofeng provided run and gun solution if your antenna become loose in the field. Simply unscrew or tighten like so. There is similar nut holding volume slash power potentiometer, but unfortunately there is no tool for that one in your radio, but you can use pair of tweezers to unscrew that nut. Alright, next pop the plastic frame around the display, should be easy. Now lift clear plastic display cover, it is glued on so be careful. Maybe even use a little bit of heat to soften the glue. And now we are ready to separate radio in pieces. Push. Pull and wiggle. Be careful, a speak cable is directly soldered on the main board. Yeah, thanks Boofwang, would be so much easier with connector. Also be super careful with display, it is easy to damage. Now to remove main board from alloy housing, you have to wiggle antenna connector a bit to create enough space for separation. And done, here we go. I have done same to the model with airband and here they are side by side. Front sides are same under the displays, but below that's a different story. Resistor is not here and this looks bit oompa loompa. Also this one has shield and this doesn't and rest is fairly similar. So non airband radio was built 1st of November 2023 and it is version 5RM8. V03 and airband radio was built on 5th of September 2023 and version is 5RM8B.V01. Not sure what that B means, but it is also written by hand here. Alright, let's look at them from the back. Here, all fun begins. A lot of components are different, some even missing, differ in sizes or location. We have also different chips and quality. I'm more than sure that there is no hack, unlock or magic that makes non-airband Baofeng UV5R receive airband frequencies in AM modulation. Sure you can receive the chip hack FM modulation from 108 to 136 MHz, but receiving quality will be shit. So just buy UV5R airband radio from link below and save your safe time and at least 4 bucks with coupon code take apart at checkout. Now let's assemble these radios. Again I'll show you a few key tricks. Remove this black plastic battery connector as it is impossible to line up board with alloy housing while it's in. So put them together and now it can go back in. It will be secured with one screw, screwed in next to the LED. 
Use tiny screwdriver for this job. Now display. It's old school so use alcohol to remove any dirt, grease or dust from pads on PCB. And also from display spongy terminals. Just like so. Now hook display back on and hope that it will work. If not or you end up with missing lines on display, repeat cleaning and praying process. As soon as you put all in, make sure to test all buttons, they should click just like before. Bonus tip is to use Vibratide to prevent nuts from being loose. It sounds like an old man problem, but it is what it is. Trust me. So let's tighten those nuts with tweezers. Or buffing special tool will make your life easier. Done. Shower in battery and fire it up. Boom. It works like new. Let's bring the other one and see if they can connect. After this huge procedure that finally answered the question, if UV5R can receive airband, it can, but only new UV5R with airband. Thanks for watching and see you next time.